I'm realizing, have been realizing over the period of time that in making something that is magic and, and viable as a, uh, as a work of art, it is not just the product that counts. It is also the way that gets you there. And that in, is, is all the aspects, the people that are working with it, uh, all the people that are involved, uh, the, from, from conception to actual realization, uh, the adventure of exploring a material and pushing it to its uh, brink, the adventure of uh, uh, taking a technology and pushing the technology to its brink is, is, uh, is a wonderful adventure. Making the image is what it all boils down to. As long as I can remember, that was the important thing in my life, was making an image. But in order to make the image, uh, I had to learn, just like before you can say something, you have to learn a language and you have to learn how to write it. I'm still learning. I don't, I don't think I ever will uh, stop. Um, but I'm at the point where I feel that my experiences have led to so many uh, techniques and media that I can use that I can say, start to say something. I love architecture. Some people say I'm a frustrated architect all along. I'm not sure, but if I'm in an architectural space that is inspiring to me, I get very excited. And of course, in a situation where I'm being a, given a commission, that's a very exciting moment because I'm coming in with the, f the freedom to do something in this space that the architect cannot do or could not do because of his uh, restrictions that he has been given by, by the function of the building. I get very excited um, in my process to build models. I am meticulous about that, building the architectural space so I understand it. And I literally shrink myself in scale into that space until I fully understand the space and then I can start thinking about how I would deal with the particular circumstances. Taking in consideration the use of the building, the architectural um, strength of the building, and integrity of the building, and then I go about um, preparing one of my images for that space. Once I have a model that I feel good about and I present, that's when an interesting time begins because um, negotiations, contracting and so forth, that needs another set of awareness on my part. But I find it interesting too because I'm basically convincing somebody to buy a dream of, from me, to buy my dream. I find that interesting and intriguing and often very rewarding to see people uh, really take a risk and extend themselves. Of course, the model is a, an, a good tool to communicate what I want to do. It's 
not only a tool to communicate it to the uh, potential client. To me, the, the model is, is uh, important in itself. So I know that I'm, what I am proposing to do will work to the best of my understanding, the best of my knowledge. Once a model is accepted by a client, um, another very exciting phase for me starts, and that is translating the, um, the idea was, that was so easily executed on a small scale, translating it into a full scale, into a human scale, and choosing the materials and the techniques and the means. It is sometimes not easy to not lose the magic when I'm translating a, a model into reality because basically the, the creative part, part is done by building the model and the execution of it can be very tedious and technical and I have found it to be crucial that I may t maintain that magic feeling about making that image all the way through the production and installation. Uh, only then um, can I maintain my, s my sensitivity toward the piece. think more and more the if the if the path maybe this is life anyway because we never arrive if the path is successful the product will be successful <laughs>